Hello YouTube, Kayla from Kelly Gaming here today with another Europa Universalis 4 video here today. So, uh, I will be showing you guys my empire, not an empire review, I'm just going to be showing you guys um, my Holy Roman Empire specifically. So obviously you can see this big blobby Austria, um, so I've, as you can see I've been playing as Austria, and um, I've amassed quite an empire, remained the H Holy Roman Emperor uh, for quite some time. Uh, but now he's come to the point where I've revoked the privileges of the princes. That's right. I've revoked the privileges of the princes. And as you can see, I've got a personal union over Spain. More on that later. So I've revoked the privileges from the princes. They're privileged to vote. And now that I am at peace, and I have 61 um, influence. I can now uh, renovate the emperor. Uh, Ren Renovatio? Yeah, Renova Renovatio Emperi. So, I think it says renovate the empire. <laughs> um, pretty much, I can unite the HRE guys. This is a great achievement. Um, it's not, nothing too insane. It's not like um, Three Mountains achievement or anything. But it's still a very cool achievement. Very, um, yeah, difficult. I'd say it's difficult to get to play your cards right. It's difficult to get this. Um, but I managed to do it in uh, 1689. So, just about 240 years. 250 years. Um, which is not that bad. I've seen some people do it in the uh, start of 1550. That's pretty incredible. I respect those people. Um, yeah, so anyway. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to click this button right now. 16 princes want the reform and 13 don't. Well, that 13 can just suck it because um, majority rules in the HRE. So, um, here you go. Let's do it. Okay, in the year of our Lord, 1689, the most serene Augustus Ferdinand II von Habsburg, Romanorum Imperator, crowned by God, has again convened the estates of the HRE. The Diet has agreed to a motion to unite the disparate states of the Empire into a nation-state and recrown the Emperor as its hereditary ruler. That would be me. Let us claim the crown. Okay, I have a feeling this will go very laggy, so... um. Yeah, let's just give it a shot. Here you go. Ooh. Got a cultural union. Oh no. Oh no. I'm inheriting all these sites. Oh wow. All these armies are just coming to me. Okay. That is done. Okay, it's all done. So we've got a cultural union. We had an empire, so now we have a Germanic cultural union. Thanks to that. Throne inherited, throne inherited. Oh, some courses, allies. A lot of thrones inherited. And obviously, yep, I have cores on all of it. All cores. That is great. And I have all these armies to dismantle. Shucks. Okay. Let's just go ahead and do that. Oh. There you go, something like that. We'll just delete these procedurally. So, um, though though it may seem hard to do this, it, it wasn't actually. If you if you know if you know the following steps in order to do it, uh, it's actually not that hard. It's it's um actually the time time is against you when you're becoming the HRE. Um, I managed to do it obviously with a hundred plus years to spare, which is great. Um, pretty much what I did, all I needed to do was all you need to do at the start of the game. Sorry. In order to, um, you know, get your get yourself on your way, is obviously get yourself elected more than once. You know, keep yourself elected. That's a good start. Um, but what you, what you also want to do is you want to keep Northern Italy inside the empire. So the way you do that is you pretty much all you need is so Austria starts off with you know Austria, um, the Papal States starts off with this kind of area here. What you want to do is you want to conquer all five of these provinces and add them to the empire. Um, before the year 1490, I think it's 1490. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much all it takes to in order to ooh, got some armies down here. That's all it takes in order to do this. So um, I start off with that, and then eventually you um get the hang of things. You keep yourself elected. Got some courses bell eyes here. Oh wow. Okay. So yeah, you keep yourself elected. You just do all the HRE stuff. Um, it's preferable that you just grab something. Oh, the HRE is gone little tab um, it's preferable that you actually um, release keep as many nations in the in the uh, in the HRE as possible because that obviously increases imperial authority and it's also recommended that um, 
yeah, you obviously you want to win the religious wars, but it's it's so essential that you win the religious wars because you got to convert, you got to force the unity, religious unity of all these nation states um, to keep your imperial authority. And there was a bit of a period around 16, uh, 1580s where I was excommunicated. Everyone was going, everyone was going um, Protestant. Um, but I came back, I bounced back, and I was able to convert most of the HRE. I say most because there's a few rebellious nations here. Um, that's the main reason they're not, they didn't join the HRE, have all their claims. So yeah, um, obviously my next, my back, the, uh, so obviously I'm von, von Habsburg, that's a, just, the, just, that's just a given. Um, Byzantium's my vassal, just so you know. And Spain's in my, in the personal union for me, which is great. Um, I'm able to uh, integrate them by now, so that's pretty nice. Scandinavia's von Habsburg. I'm hoping to get a personal union over them soon enough. France and Great Britain are my only two, and Russia obviously, are my two, three biggest, like, enemies. But, um, I can steamroll France, um, I can steamroll Russia. They don't have that good tech, um, so it's all up to Great Britain. They're still my ally, but I wouldn't say that for long. Now, uh, thank you guys for watching. Obviously, I'll be doing a full Empire review on this later on. But for now, I'll continue playing. And obviously, um, I'm still playing on 17.1.17. Uh, but after after I finish this game, I just wanted to finish it. And then after I finish it, I will be um, getting right to man. And I'll just have a little play around with that. Might be doing a Let's Play. Might just do a simple Empire review. You know, see how it goes. Anyway, as always, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see you later.